right so in this problem we need to find out which of the following are subspaces of p3 so let's consider the first set let's call this w1 this is the set of all polynomials of the form a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube for which a0 is 0 that is the constant term is 0 so we'd find that this is in fact a vector subspace of p3 because first of all this is non-empty as the zero polynomial zero belongs to w1 so suppose that we have two polynomials in w1 of the form a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube and b0 plus b1x plus b2x square plus b3x cube in w1 so we have a0 and b0 equals 0 so their sum would be a0 plus b0 plus a1 plus b1x plus a2 plus b2x square plus a3 plus b3x cube and again a0 plus b0 would be 0 plus 0 which is 0 so that would mean that this sum belongs to w1 so w1 is closed with respect to addition and also if we have any scalar alpha so alpha times this polynomial a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube is alpha a0 plus alpha a1x plus alpha a2x square plus alpha a3x cube so the constant term in this polynomial is alpha a0 which is alpha times 0 which is 0 so this polynomial belongs to w1 so w1 is closed with respect to scalar multiplication as well so this is a vector subspace of p3 let's check for the set uh, which we will call w2 which consists of the polynomials a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube of the form a0 plus a1 plus a2 plus a3 equals 0 that is all the coefficients have the sum 0 so this is a vector subspace because again the 0 polynomial belongs to w2 and if we have two polynomials in w2 so we would have a0 plus a1 plus a2 plus a3 equals 0 and b0 plus b1 plus b2 plus b3 equals 0 so consider their sum it would be a0 plus b0 plus a1 plus b1x plus a2 plus b2 times x square plus a3 plus b3 times x cube and the sum of the coefficients is a0 plus b0 plus a1 plus b1 plus a2 plus b2 plus a3 plus b3 which is 0 so this sum belongs to w2 and again if we have any scalar then the scalar multiple is nothing but alpha times a0 plus alpha times a1x plus alpha times a2x square plus alpha times a3x cube and the sum of the coefficients is alpha a0 plus alpha a1 plus alpha a2 plus alpha a3 which is alpha times a0 plus a1 plus a2 plus a3 this is alpha times 0 that is 0 so the scalar multiple of this polynomial also belongs to w2 so w2 is also a subspace of p3 moving ahead to the third set let's call this w3 this consists of the polynomials of the following form here we want all 
the quotations belonging to the set of rational numbers. So we see that this is not a vector subspace um, because consider the polynomial x belongs to w3 because the coefficient are a0 equals 0, a1 equals 1, a2 equals 0 and a3 equals 0. All of these are rational numbers. So this polynomial x belongs to w3 but consider the scalar alpha equals uh, say root 2 which is not a scalar so alpha times x would be root 2 times x so here the new coefficients are a let's call them b0 equals 0 b1 equals root 2 b2 equals 0 and b3 equals 0 so this coefficient does not belong to the set of rational numbers so this is not a vector subspace let's move ahead with the fourth set calling this w4 and this consists of the polynomials of the form this such that in fact we only have uh, two terms a0 and a1x where a0 and a1 are real numbers so this is a vector space this is actually p1 so this is a vector space because clearly 0 belongs to w4 and if we have two polynomials in w4 then their sum is a0 plus b0 plus a1 plus b1 times x which is again in w4 and any scalar multiple of this polynomial is alpha times a0 plus alpha times a1 x which is again in w4 so this is a vector subspace of p3 